It's the disease that you fear most, cancer. And your ability to fight it lies in one of the biggest buzzwords in health, antioxidants. Today, we're fighting the war on cancer with prevention, antioxidant prevention. And I'm sharing my cancer-fighting antioxidant all-stars, the three most important ones you need to help you prevent cancer. Do you have enough? That's why our audience is wearing these different colored t-shirts. You've seen them advertised everywhere. A glass of Welch's purple grape juice has twice the natural antioxidant level. This peptide cream is so rich in the absolute best antioxidants. New Snapple antioxidant water. It helps protect your body. Antioxidants are found in many fruits and vegetables. And they might just be your body's ultimate secret weapons against cancer. But what exactly are antioxidants and why are they so good for you? As I've discovered, most of you don't even have a clue. What's an antioxidant? I don't know. Do you know any antioxidants? No, oh, I know it's in green tea. You know what an antioxidant is? An antioxidant? Yes. No. Do you know what has antioxidants in it? I don't want to say the wrong stuff. I'm with your daughter here. I've got a question for both of you. Can you name an antioxidant? Oh. Oh, my God. Joining me is one of my all-time favorite guests, cancer prevention pioneer, Dr. William Lee. Dr. Lee, thank you very much for joining us as always. Talk thank about you. antioxidants and how they prevent cancer. Well, antioxidants are natural protective molecules that Mother Nature has laced into a large number of foods. Mm -hmm. And there are literally thousands of different types of antioxidants, but they all do pretty much the same thing. They protect our DNA in healthy cells from the type of damage caused by free radicals, which are harmful chemicals that our body absorbs from things like cigarette smoke or pollution or fried foods or other sources of the environment. So antioxidants protect our DNA against the kind of damage that can cause cancer. So you see why it's so important to both of us and all doctors are concerned about preventing cancer that you have enough. So everyone in our audience today is wearing their antioxidant health on their sleeve. They all wear different colored t-shirts. Before the show, we give everyone the ultimate nutritional lie detector test. This revolutionary device, it's lying right here next to me, measures the level of carotenoids in your skin, which can help indicate the overall antioxidant health in your body. It's a completely non-invasive test. Did it hurt you? Did you get it? No. All right. no. Good. I haven't had mine yet. I'm having it next. So we're going to see if it hurts me. But it takes about 90 seconds, and I am sta completely astounded by these results. Now, they come on over here. We're going to show it to everybody. So... If you look at the, this, is, this is how it's supposed to be read out, by the way. We've got lowest to highest, 10,000 up to 50,000 units, right? Or, or, or these figures give us a rough idea. You want to be up here in the blues. Now, let's see how you did. Are you ready? I don't want to see any reds, any oranges. Let's see the numbers for the audience. You're all down here. Can I tell you something? You're America. You're a cross section of everyone watching the show right now. Let me just go through these because it completely blew my mind. We have almost 40% of the audience in the lowest category possible. I actually didn't think we'd find anybody there. Na naively thought that at least we're getting enough of these antioxidants into our bodies, they wouldn't be there. Another 40% had the orange category, which is still, to me, a, a dangerously low level. And we only had a total of about 6% ha having greens and blues. Put your hands up if you're greens and blues. Let me just see. It's like, yeah, I mean, there are a couple, folks. But, you know, it's not many. Congratulations, by the way. Yeah. So the question then becomes, you know, why is it they're having these problems? And it's not surprising because we're getting on average about two to three servings of fruit per day and vegetables. It's not enough. And we know that. We, what do we talk about? Five, seven, nine big numbers of servings, fistful size. So I haven't had the test yet. So before I give you a hard time, let's see how I'm doing. Uh, ready to go? Yes, ready. All right. And that's really why I do this. Uh, talk to me about antioxidants. What foods have them? How can folks find them, even if they don't know the chemical names? Well, you can certainly get antioxidants in pill form, but the very best way of actually getting antioxidants is in the foods that we eat. And what about organic versus inorganic? I get asked that a lot from the audience. Does it make a big difference with regard to antioxidant power? Yeah, well, some studies have actually shown that foods grown organically can have greater levels of antioxidants. And the reason is because antioxidants also protect plants. When plants are grown organically, that's without pesticides or chemicals or antibiotics, they actually have to produce more antioxidants to protect themselves. Right. And when we eat them, we get the benefits too. Oh. Does that make sense, everybody? Yes. All right, let's see how I'm doing here. Uh-oh. 75,000. 
Uh, now, listen. No, no, no. I, I, I honestly, goodness, did not do that to show off. Although I know it sounds like that. Uh, I, I did that because I eat the things that all of you could be eating. I don't do anything fancy. I'm as busy as you are. I just made it part of my life to eat the kinds of foods we're going to talk about today. It's that simple. But when you see numbers like that, it changes dramatically the chances you're going to have to cope with some life-threatening or life-ending cancer down the road. Let me show you why antioxidants are so important. Where's Stephanie? Come now, Stephanie. Hi. Isn't Stephanie wonderful? Yeah. Now, why is Stephanie wearing a red shirt? Because I have an addiction to pastries. <laughs> so I really wasn't surprised at my results. Big. Well, let me just point a couple things out to folks who may be surprised by your results. You're thin, you look athletic, you look fit, and your numbers are still low. Your numbers weren't just low, they were among the lowest we found in the entire audience of 200 some people here. So it's a dangerously low number. I want to sink in to everybody today the fundamental principles of what antioxidants are and why I care about them and why world-class physicians and cancer researchers like Dr. Lee are dedicating their lives to getting this message out. You want to play with me a little bit? Sure. Okay. So this is what your DNA looks like. Okay. You see the balloons lined up and they're very neatly aligned along these little cables because when the DNA has to reproduce itself, it's got to make a perfect copy. If it makes a mistake when it copies, what happens? It's going to continue. And it'll make and, mistakes and, yeah. that are propagated, right? It's like you're giving your kids a bad habit. They're going to take it to their kids. Right. So you make bad habits in DNA, and they turn into rogue sociopathic cells, which we call cancer. Mm -hmm. All right, so you get to be a free radical. Okay. okay. So I want you to take your free radical power, and I want you to, to knock off these balloons. I want you to show what it, what it can do to DNA when the DNA is not protected and free radicals can attack it. Go ahead. Whack okay. away. I know. One more. And what happens? It begins to be very, very unstable. Now, if I don't hold it, it's going to collapse. Now, what ends up happening when you lose all of this power mm -hmm. is that you begin to make the errors I'm speaking about. Then, the body has to develop a technique to protect it. It's called an antioxidant. So I'm going to be the antioxidant now. And my job is to prevent you from knocking off the remaining pieces of this. Right. right? Otherwise, the whole thing collapses and we're done. You're going to have oxidation. You're going to have stress in your life. The kids are going to get you tired. You're going to have issues at work. That's going to happen. You're going to eat foods that aren't always perfect for you. I'm OK with that. But you've got to have the antioxidant back up to come in there and defend you. So go ahead. Knock that tire. Take it away. There. Go on. One more time. Try to get at it. She's hard. All right? You can't get there, right? I'm nervous. <laughs> Just make the, take, take it back up there. Try to get it. Right. Free radicals are fast and they're quick, but the, anti the antioxidants are your natural mechanisms that we have always had for all of our existence. Every human being ever created has had antioxidants that can protect us from the world around us. That's why this is so critical. All right, now let's come over here. Now, let's talk about three cancer-fighting antioxidant all-stars. You want to hear about these? All right, the first are carotenoids. Sounds like carrots, right? Carotenoids are incredibly powerful uh, and they work in very unique ways. Dr. Lee, please explain. So carotenoids are special antioxidants that actually give fruits and vegetables their color, their red, yellow, and orange colors. And uh, there are actually more than 600 different types of carotenoids. And uh, we think of them as all-stars because carotenoids actually prevent the formation of the free radicals in the first place. Mm -hmm. And the other reason is that many carotenoids, like many antioxidants, are also anti-angiogenic which means that they starve cancers by preventing blood vessels from growing up to feed the cancers. Mm. No blood vessels, no cancer. So the ones that you might often hear about are the common ones like lycopene or beta carotene. Mm -hmm. right. It's like taking that tennis racket away from you. Okay. That's how it functions in your body. So it, you know, it gets you even one step earlier. So uh, we talked about carrots, so yellow squash. Have you ever heard of persimmon? Yes, I have. You taste it at all? You know mm. what it tastes like? No, I don't. You interested in trying it out? Sure. All right, let's see if we can bump you out of the lowest group here. <laughs> I want you, all, all the other reds to be careful. She's going to catch up to you now, Stephanie. She's going to take you out. It's not bad. Not bad? Mm -mm. Talk to me about these and how much you have to have to have a benefit. Yeah, so studies have actually shown that, for example, for uh, yellow squash, eating a cup and a half per week helps prevent lung cancer. Hmm. And for carrots, eating uh, about a cup per day helps prevent kidney cancer. And for persimmons, two fruits a day helps protect against stomach cancer. What do you think about that? 
I mean, you can't beat it. Yeah, you should take, take us back with you. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you very much. A New York souvenir. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. So how does being in the red there make you feel? Not so good. Not so good? Not so good. You know what the thing is, is can you guys turn from being reds and orange shirted people into the blues and the greens? I think so. Yeah, you can. Yeah. And when you do that, guess what? When you turn yourself around, you also dramatically change the chance of you getting cancer, mm -hmm. which is the big message here, Sandra. Okay. Fair enough? Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Right. When we come back, we're unlocking the secrets to getting the most cancer-fighting antioxidants from your food. Stay with us. <laughs> with cancer prevention pioneer Dr. William Lee and we're about to unlock the secrets to getting the most cancer-fighting antioxidants into your diet. Here to help us, Dora. Welcome, Dora. Thank you. So how does it make you feel? Thank you. How do you feel about having that red shirt? And how, who'd you come with, by the way? Where's you? I came oh, I with my I family and, um, yeah, they, yeah, they beat, beat you. No, and why there's is always it? this competition, and I lost again. Did you feel badly about it? And I'm the eldest. You're the oldest, though? Yes, yes. But do they eat better than you? They're wearing yellows and oranges No, there. they don't eat better than me. Today. I do have a question, though. Yes. They're saying a lot of times these vegetables sit on the shelf mm -hmm. and they lose a lot of, you're better off buying, like they flash frozen. That's a good question. You're absolutely right. When you get fresh uh, vegetables that are frozen at the site and then you buy them frozen weeks later and save them even for a few months, yeah, so it's a very smart way and it's affordable for everybody. Okay. So the next time you actually order it's salsa, nice. Get the guacamole as well. I, I eat avocados and tomatoes and salsa every day. Then why are you red? I don't know. I think it was maybe a faulty oh, test. Yeah. But, oh. you know. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm going to tell you why. I, 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 can I tell you why you're red? Can you, stress do that? Stress can do it. Okay. But there's something more important That's that it. I perceive in you. What? What could it possibly be? Probably. It, 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 either I'm, I'll out you or you'll out you. Okay. I smoke. She smokes. I do. You do smoke, and I love you for who you are, and I'm not giving you a hard time about it right now, but that's why you're anti-accident.